Hi, I'm Owen and in this video I'd like to show you how to make a model car using only simple tools and techniques. Before starting, I'd recommend that you wash all of the parts in warm soapy water with a splash of vinegar. This is going to remove any residue that may be left on the plastic that may prevent the paint from sticking later. After leaving the parts to soak for about 5 minutes, I'm just going to rinse them off and then leave them on the side to dry. Next, we need to cut the parts off the sprue that we need for step 1 of the instructions. We're going to do this using a craft knife, but you could use sprue cutters if you have some. I'm just going to very carefully cut the parts out and you'll notice that then little nubs of plastic get left. We're going to remove as much of the nub as we can with the knife, obviously being very careful. And once we've got rid of most of it, I'm going to sand down to the bit that's left with just a nail file or emery board. Now, I'm not a fan of the tubes of glue you get with these starter sets because they don't allow you to apply the glue precisely to the model. But we can work around that because if we take the box and rip a bit of cardboard off it and then rip a strip off that, then I'm just going to apply a puddle of glue to the larger piece of cardboard and then I'm going to take the thinner strip and fold it in half and I'm going to use that as an applicator to apply the glue precisely to the model. This tip of using cardboard to apply glue very precisely definitely comes in handy when you're trying to glue on very small parts. So now it's time to do some painting because if we add any more parts to this, it might become quite difficult to paint some of it. So the first thing I've done is wash the brushes in warm soapy water and given them a good rinse. And then what we're gonna do is take the color that we need, in this case white, and I'm gonna take a match stick, but you could use the end of the brush and just stir the paint. Make sure you get right into the bottom of the pot and make sure the paint is fully mixed. I'm just going to scrape this paint off onto a plastic lid that I'm going to use as a paint palette. And now I'm just going to take a little bit of water and mix that into the paint a bit to thin it. Now by thinning the paint that means you are going to have to paint more coats but you're going to get a much smoother finish. Now I'm just going to apply the paint to the model trying to keep the brush strokes all going in the same direction. After leaving the first coat of paint to dry for about 20 minutes, you should have something that looks a bit like this. And notice that the black seems to have covered the plastic a lot better than the white. That's just because it is a stronger pigment. So you might be thinking it looks a bit rubbish, but this is where you've just got to be a bit patient. And now it's just a case of applying a couple more coats of paint until you get the proper finish that you want. Okay, so I'm now happy with the white colour and I'm just going to take the smaller brush of the two and I'm going to paint in all of the small details. Now onto the tyres and all of these tyres have quite bad mould seams running around the edges of them. So to remove that, what we're going to do is take our craft knife and just go around the wheel, scraping that seam off. To help me paint some of the smaller parts like the wheels, I'm just going to put them on a blob of blue tack 
and use that as a little handle to hold them while I paint them. On these seat belts, unfortunately, we have what we call flashing, which is excess plastic that we don't want to be there that's like spilled out when it's been molded. So to get rid of it, all we're gonna do is take a knife blade and gently scrape it over the plastic and that should remove the flashing. Now, before we stick the seats in, there's a problem because this glue works by bonding plastic. However, the plastic that makes up the floor of the car is covered with a layer of paint, so the glue won't be able to bond the seat to the floor. So, to fix this, we need to take a knife and just scrape away the layer of paint to reveal the plastic underneath. Now that we've revealed the plastic underneath the paint, the plastic of the seat will be able to stick to the plastic of the floor. So all of the painting is done and it's now time to attach the clear parts. However, if I attach them with normal poly cement glue, this will attack the plastic and stop them from being see-through, they'll turn frosty. So what I'm going to use is PVA glue because it doesn't attack the plastic and it dries clear. For the headlights and brake lights, I've actually gone ahead and painted on the back of the clear plastic. So I've painted red on the brake lights and silver on the headlights, and that shows through the plastic and gives them a nice colour. And now I'm just going to stick those on with PVA glue. Now that all of the clear parts have tried, it's time to apply the decals. For this, I am going to use decal solution. This is Humbrol Decal Fix. I'm doing this because there are so many decals that have clear areas on them that they will silver, which is where on a microscopic level, air bubbles get trapped under the decal and stop them from looking like they're painted on basically. So I would recommend that you get some decal solution if you can. I'm going to decant some decal solution into a little dish. I've already cut my first decal out using my craft knife and I'm going to place that in the decal solution and wait for about 30 seconds. 
If you don't have decal solution, you'll want to soak your decals in warm water for about 20 seconds. Okay, so it's been about 30 seconds. I'm gonna remove the decal from the solution and place it on a paper towel to absorb some of the excess. Now, to test if the decal's ready to apply to the model, I'm just gonna try and gently move it around on the transfer paper. And if it moves freely, that means it's ready to be applied. If it's not moving freely, you might wanna soak it for a little bit longer. Before applying the decal, I'm just gonna paint some decal solution onto the area where I want the decal to be placed and this is gonna help it slide around on the surface of the model. So now I'm gonna hold the decal over the area where I want it to go, apply a bit of pressure with the brush, and slide away the transfer paper from underneath. And now it's a case of using the brush to gently reposition the decal. I finished applying all of the decals and left them overnight to dry. And now that they're all fully set, I'm going to apply the final parts to the model. These are all little pieces that I left off because I didn't want to accidentally break them earlier in the build. Attaching the final parts and gluing the two halves together completes the model car. So I hope you found this video helpful and you enjoy using some of these tips to build your own models. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any content and also you can support me on Patreon which would be greatly appreciated. Thank you to Airfix for providing me with this kit and thank you very much for watching.